Okay, so now we're gonna overlap our shapes. So just draw one shape, and then you can draw the next shape on top of it. And to make like to make it look like it's overlapping, we're just gonna erase one of these lines. Do it again. And then we can erase this line. And then I'm just going to put like a horizon line like they're sitting on a table. Okay. Number two is shading. Okay. So you're just going to draw couple shapes and then you're just gonna add a little shadow underneath and then you're gonna add a little bit of shading on one side Okay, number three is placement. So for placement, you're just gonna have shapes all around. So in the back, they'll be small. In the front, they'll be big. Okay, and then you're just gonna put a little shadow underneath them so they look like they're sitting on something and not just floating in outer space. Oh, I forgot to write placement. Okay, and number four is size. So that just means you're gonna have the big shapes in the front and the little shapes in the back. Okay, and same thing, you're just gonna add a little shadow, okay? And not on this one, right? Because this is just the top. And if you wanna go back and add a little shadow underneath here, that's fine. A little shadow on the bottom of that shape so it looks more like a sphere. Okay, so this one was size, and now number five is going to be value and focus, okay? So value is how dark or light a color is, so that just means whatever shapes are closest to us are gonna be darker and have more value Okay, then the shapes behind us. So the shapes in the background are gonna be light, okay, and have less value. See how they're lighter? Okay, and then these shapes are closer to us, so they have a little bit darker values, okay? And then the last one is linear perspective. And that's just a fancy way of saying that as objects go back into space, they get smaller. So it's kind of like size, except we're gonna put everything on a line, okay? And we're gonna have our big objects in front, and then as they go back in space, they get smaller and smaller, okay? And then you can add a little bit of shading if you want to make them look like they're sitting on a table. Okay. And so those are six ways you can create depth.